one minute, one minute. Luis, Allah, hey. I bring my best for this fight. I train, I train like a crazy man. For God, uh, I, I am here today to fight against this beast. Your Homer is a real beast. Look, I just come here to take, to make one, one, one thing, take my belt. I will be waiting for Adesanya, the skinny claw Adesanya against Whitaker. And after this fight, I want my chance to prove I am their champion. Those who follow the martial arts world know Paula Costa as a former undefeated MMA fighter with incredible physical form and mind-blowing success at the age of 31. But as you know, behind the personality of almost every fighter, there are a lot of difficulties, and Paulo in this sense is no exception. Hello, fighters with UMMA Iron Channel. In this video, I will talk about Paulo Costa's shocking fights in MMA, but before starting this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and put a like so that fans of the Brazilian can see this video. Brazil of the 90s, then very young Paulo Costa remembered this time a little differently, according to his mother. Although he was a very quiet and not conflicted guy, since the age of seven, Paulo constantly came home with a broken face. For some reason, his peers disliked him and regularly gave, as they say, blows to the head. In one of the interviews, his mother Maria Augusta told how once her son came home with a bloody head, and when asked what happened, Paulo replied that he was pelted with stones. The guy himself recalled how once leaving school he met about 20 high school students who were already waiting for him outside the school gates. Recall that he ran as fast as possible and running to the first supermarket he came across. He was lucky to meet cops there, who immediately helped young Paul get home avoiding another massacre. Moreover, as the guy himself says, there were no reasons for such treatment of him. He just for some reason did not like his peers. Therefore, it was decided to send the boy to jiu-jitsu at the age of nine years. The mother was very worried that the already unlucky guy would get even more in training, but the coaches managed to convince her of the opposite and explain that sport leads primarily to discipline. And none of the athletes will just beat the guy, of course, in the process. It turned out that they were right. Meanwhile, his brother Carlos tried to build a career in football like his father. But in the process, both boys took up jiu-jitsu. At the Honda Center Arena in Anaheim, the fight of the main card of the UFC 241 tournament ended in which former middleweight title challenger Yo Romero and undefeated Brazilian knockout Paulo Costa met. Well, Paulo, first, I guess, uh, what are you doing here in Las Vegas? We don't see you yes. out here very often. Uh, what brought you here? He's in Las Vegas. He's the, the CEO of the, the, the firm, right? But I come here to, uh, to work. I have some, some things to, to solve here, so I come here to, to solve these things and train too. Very nice. Just just two days years. I, I live in tomorrow to Brazil to train to start my training. I I, I keep my training here. I, I train workouts. The I, I lift weights, but I I need to go to Brazil to start my my real camp, my martial arts camp. You know. Costa immediately began to press Romero to the net, trying to catch him with a blow. But the Cuban, thanks to non-standard technique avoided damage well and sharply counterattacked in response. Both fighters had good chances in the first round. Each of them even managed to be knocked down. In the second round, Romero began to gradually seize the initiative, delivering more blows, while the Brazilian often stagnated and hit little, only tiredly going at his opponent. At the end of the second five minutes, Romero managed to take a takedown and control Costa on the canvas before the gong. The final round was held in the rack. The fighters exchanged heavy blows non-stop for all five minutes. Exhausted from fatigue, they responded with blow to blow and even found time to wriggle and entertain the assembled audience. It seemed that the Cuban still had much more than his opponent, but the judges decided otherwise. The court's decision was met with a disapproving roar. Paulo, congratulations on the win tonight. Can you just tell us how you feel after a fight like that? We saw you walking in a little bit gingerly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I feel very happy because I, I show for everybody around the world how tough guy I am. I beat Yoya Romero for me is one of the best fighters of the world. Uh, the most tough guy on this division after me now, of course. I beat him and I'm happy. Uh, 
That's it. Within the framework of the UFC 226 tournament, the duel between representatives of the middleweight category Yuri Hall and Paulo Costa ended. Is there any feeling having been the guy sort of who sent him in, into retirement, being that guy who, who was the last, you know, you, you're almost the decision maker for him, having sent him into retirement? So, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I respect me. I, I, I just re respect him. Well, you're already a top five, a top ten fighter. Three fights into your into your UFC career. I, I just like to say I, I, I respect Jordy Hanks a lot because he accepted this uh, fight against me when nobody accepts. You know, so I uh, I need to say thank you, Jordy Hanks, for accepting uh, that fight because that fight is very, uh, was very important for me. In the first round, the fighters began to actively act in the rack, exchanging dense kicks a couple of times near the equator of the round. Hall began using his legs and throwing a quick jab. Then Costa took out Hall several times with a punch to the body and casually hit twice with a right cross. This was followed by a one-minute break due to a blow to the groin from the Brazilian. Then the fighters were more active. Ure started with his signature turntable and continued to get the opponent with an unpleasant jab. But Costa tried to answer and drove the opponent to the net. At the end of the round, Yuri looked somewhat tired, missed a very tight blow to the liver and not quite accurate all the same blow to the right. Then the fight was once again stopped, as the American of Jamaican descent appealed to the referee in view of another blow below the belt. The Brazilian continues to advance, but Hall's break clearly benefited, which allowed him to actively complete the round. In the second five minutes, the fighters were not going to slow down. Both quite energetically sought to end the fight ahead of schedule. Soon Hall managed to pass to his feet, but the Brazilian fighter immediately stood up and continued to press his opponent, making a mistake and missing Hall's counterattack, which knocked him down somewhat. A stubborn Costa continued to advance and overtook Yure in the exchange with a tight shot from the left, finishing the attack with a right uppercut. After this attack, Hall collapsed on the canvas, which forced the referee to stop the meeting. Oh, congratulations on the win. Um, just what a war that was. Did you expect the fight to, to go like that? Uh, just, you know, just being a, a battle for both of you? Thank you. Yes. Uh, Ray Hall is a very tough guy. He have a very dangerous spin back. And... I was preoccupied. Yes, I was preoccupied. I was preoccupied when I was talking. I was I was preoccupied. I was worried. I was worried with his spin back because it's very dangerous. So, this is... Uh, a difficult to, to me to, to keep the, the good distance and he, he was this to, to put his dab, jab in my, my mouth but in the second round I close the distance I find this, the, the right dist distance to put my, my, my hands in his body, his face to, to put his down in and to get the knockout. Fighting former champion in Johnny Hendricks, when they came to you with this name, what were your initial emotions? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm calm. Uh, I'm, I'm relaxed. Relax. This, this not not affect my 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 action in octagonal. But I'm happy because he a great great name. He's a former champion, and I'm I'm I'm. I'm grateful for, to Jordan Hendricks to accept this fight, to come here to fight against me. He, are, he have a great heart, great heart, and I'm happy, but it's not affect my... I mean, Rex is, is a, one more fight for, for me. From the very first seconds, Paulo Costa began to keep the promise made before the fight. He rushed forward, attacked powerfully, and in every possible way showed a desire to end the fight as soon as possible. Hendricks contrasted the relics of the young fighter with technique and ingenuity. But after 1.5 minutes of the second round, the guns of the Costas found their target and Hendricks, having endured several powerful hits, dropped to his knees. The referee stopped the fight, the victory of the Brazilian athlete by knockout. Thus, the Brazilian declared himself as a fighter who has championship ambitions. Congratulations. Would you say this is the greatest moment of your career thus far? Yes, 
of course, is the best moment of my, my career. Uh, Johnny Hendrix is the, the, the best name of my, my career and I can do it, I can, I can uh, make a victory and this is the, the, best, the best fight of my, my, my career, of course. October 23rd, in Las Vegas, UFC Fight Night, in the main fight of the evening, middleweight's Marvin Vittori, 28, nicknamed Italian Dream, and 30-year-old Paulo Costa, nicknamed Eraser, met. Yes, in this fight he lost, but he showed that he can give a competitive fight to every representative of the middleweight. Yeah. You know, we had the, the situation in August with the fight that wasn't signed, or was it signed? I mean, do you feel like your relationship with the UFC at that point was, was bad or difficult or was it a misunderstanding? What, what happened there? No, I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't feel or felt uh, my relationship with, with the UFC is bad now. It's the same, I think. It's just business, you know? And uh, I think you, you talk about uh, not sign that's supposed to fight uh, fight against Canonier, right? Yes, I never f uh, signed that contract. Maybe the UFC precipitated to announce that fight, but I never made any accord to fight or numbers to fight against Canonier. Against Whitkey, yes, I signed, but some weeks before the fight, I had a several flu, it's not COVID, flu, but uh, I could make that fight because I, uh, on that time, I, I need more, more four weeks or three weeks. To, I try it, delay that fight for one month after, but for any reasons, I don't know why they don't want to make that fight. At the start of the fight, it was expected that against a pronounced puncher, Vittori would try to exhaust his opponent in clinches and part era, but the fight went according to a completely different scenario. Yes, from the first seconds Costa began to put powerful blows in the Italian. He had both combinations and singles. He shot both hands and feet on all fours, threw more than one accurate high kick into the head, but Vittori stubbornly went forward, calmly taking all these blows on himself. In a couple of situations, he seemed shocked, but the Italian instantly recovered rested in the center of the ring and began to press again. He missed a lot, hit the defense a lot, but round after round he began to interrupt his opponent in the number of blows he struck, realizing that it is impossible to inflict the expected damage to the opponent. In the middle of the third round it was Costa who went to the ground and even noted a successful takedown, but in an attempt at a chokehold, he missed the initiative and more than a minute of control went to the Italian. In the fourth round, it seemed that the Brazilian was tired lost faith in his abilities, began to stagnate that Vittori was finally taking the fight, but in the fifth round, Costa showed that he was ready for a five-round confrontation and gave the Italian excellent attacks with accurate accentuated hits. Again, there was intrigue, a chance of an early end to the fight, but Vittori withstood all the missed blows, once again confirming the strength of his jaw, and thus the Italian wins. But in this fight, Paulo Costa showed his spirit and proved to all the fans that he can fight all five rounds. Paulo, thanks for uh, for coming here. Obviously, I know you're you're disappointed with the result, but it was an yeah. ama it was an amazing fight. Uh, yeah. Just talk about how how you're feeling, maybe uh, mentally and physically right now. Yeah, no, physically I'm good. Just my my foot is a little bit a balloon. It's like a balloon. <laughs> my foot is a balloon. <laughs> I kick a lot at him on his body, on his head. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm feeling my my foot. <laughs> I think. Maybe his left arm should be very hurt and his body as well. Man, I really don't understand why the jury saw that result. I really believe I won. And uh, about the referee, he's very good referee. I, I don't understand why he took one point from me on the very first stoppage, you know, interpretation was not intentional.